What up, sports fans? Jay Smalls here. Talking a little bit NBA hoops. We got playoffs coming. We got a couple games left. It's going to get interesting. So it looks like we got some matchups here. I want to dove into the Eastern Conference right now. I'm Chicago, so I got to rep a little Chicago going into here. But I'm non biased when we're going to picks and predictions and when we go forward into here, okay? Let's get into it. We got Indiana and Atlanta meeting up here in the first round. Indiana's been a team in flux. Since they've added Evan Turner, Bynum, they just have not gelled. They haven't had time to gel. Bynum's been injured. Turner just has been on and off. It seems like they've hit a wall of sorts. So hopefully they can awaken here in the first round playoff because they got a gimme team with the Hawks because Al Horford's out and they're a young team that, you know, the Eastern Conference is horrible. So it, that's a nice win for them. <clears throat> then you're going down, you have the number two seed, which really is the number one seed, the defending champs, the Miami Heat, <clears throat> Pat Riley. Repeat on the way, right? Oh, does that hurt me to say? They won uh, 54 games this year, but it looks like Indiana's going to skate out to win it. So, uh, at least home court advantage. But it may not even come to that. They may get their ass swept when they play them. They are matching up. The Miami Heat are matching up here with the Charlotte Bobcats. Michael Jordan has paid a lot of money to improve this team. They're not going to beat Miami. I'm sorry. They just don't have the horses. They have some nice additions with uh, Kemba Walker. You know, Michael K. Gil or MGK Gilchrist. My bad. <laughs> he, he hasn't really evolved. It's the same as Biombo. And it, 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 as far as they haven't gelled as a team. They're, they're, no, they're not far from being a good team. So... Now they're going to transition to being the Hornets again, which is nice. So that'll be cool to see. But Miami's going to win that series. You have Toronto, Washington. That'll be a battle. That thing's going to go seven of just grittiness, I think. But Toronto's going to win that series. Dwayne Casey, one of my candidates for Coach of the Year, he is on top of his game. He has a team playing at a top-notch level defensively next to the Bulls and one of the best defensive units in all of basketball so uh, cheers to him and Dwayne Casey you don't get enough respect <clears throat> then we have the series of series if things end up the way they do as it is with a couple games out Chicago and Brooklyn with Chicago getting home court now I think Brooklyn is the biggest X factor heading into the playoffs in the Eastern Conference but then you have Chicago who is just on a rugged tear when you have Joe Kim Noah, Jimmy Butler, Taj Gibson, the tutelage of Tom Thibodeau. They are the worst ma matchup nightmare that any team wants to see, especially the Nets. So, in Brooklyn, in Crooklyn, they're going to be worried because you only have so many guys here in Brooklyn that you know you can really depend on. You know, you have to worry about KG coming back and, and really get graining his, gaining his stroke back. Jerron Williams, very been inconsistent all year. He's had back problems. They lost Brooke Lopez, which was an anchor for them. And then M Mason Plumley, you know, he should be a Rookie of the Year candidate, but it's going to go to uh, the kid out of Philly. But he's just played out of his mind. He's one of the best value guys. But Joe Johnson is key for that team. You also have the truth. Paul Pierce, he's got to be huge for them if they're going to do anything. But running into this wall that is the Bulls, because you have Jimmy Butter, Butler, sorry, I just like calling him Butter because he's just on a roll, baby, all the time. And you have him, Taj, who's just a beast down low, and he's, his offensive game is really finding himself. Now, Carlos Boozer's going to start, but use him for what he is. He's just, you know, he's like a hoe, I mean, excuse my language, he's a hoe, you know, get his 15 points and his six garbage rebounds and go from there and then play Taj and he can play his defense in the fourth quarter. Then you have the the mix of DJ and Kirk Heinrich together, so that's going to give 
then that's a lot of trouble because they lack in depth. They have Teague, Marcus Teague, as their backup, which was the next bull to Jerron Williams, who's already been inconsistent. And if you've seen recently, Teague just broke both of his ankles by his own brother, Jeff Teague of Atlanta, which is pretty funny to see. <laughs> but I like the Bulls winning that matchup. So, sorry, I just get off on that. That's going to be a really good matchup, I think, with Chicago-Brooklyn. So you got Indiana-Chicago. That's another intriguing matchup. If anybody can beat Indiana right now, it's going to be Brooklyn or Chicago the way they are. Unless Indiana can really get their stuff together, meaning Paul George becomes that superstar. Hibbert locks it down, down low. Evan Turner can really turn up his game. They can get really good point guard play. Lance Stevenson has just been a beast. So hopefully they spend money on him and not, not Turner this year. But... Chicago can really get under the skin, and they match up well. And, may, and Hibbert may be 7 2, but Joe Kim Noah can outplay with his size. So that's going to be a fun matchup to see. And with, with Jimmy Butter and uh, Mr. Uh, Paul George, it's going to lock them down, you know, with, with especially with our point guard duo of Heinrich and, and Augustine at 6 4 and 6 6 1. You have such a variety of what you're throwing at teams. It makes it really hard to defend for and to account for offensively. So it's going to be interesting to see. But I like Chicago coming out of there. They're going to the Eastern Conference Finals without Derrick Rose. Will you have a Willis Reed entrance? Who knows? Because you know what? I'll tell you this. Miami's beating the hell out of Toronto. You can try all you want, Toronto, but you ain't the Hoosiers. And we've got Gene Hackman coaching you. You're going to get your ass beat by Miami. Miami's going to crumb across. As long as they can stay healthy, it's going to be Bulls Miami. Now, with that being said, Miami is a better team all around. But injuries happen. If Dwayne Wade's not on the top of his game or something happens with LeBron or Bosh, you, you can exploit these things. Now, Derek is playing on the U.S. team, so he is in practice. He's going to be in full body practice and full contact here at least by the second round, I want to say. And if you got this kid practicing, it just is a threat having him come out walking out in a uniform is going to get in everybody's head, especially anybody in Miami, it's maybe except for uh, Pat Riley. But, you know, that Willis Reed thing, I mean, you have that effect. You can get in the head. You can beat anybody. That's why you play the games, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you play the games. So, I like Miami coming out of there. I'm a realist. Unless we have a Willis Reed effect coming here and everything's rolling, I just don't see us beating Miami. It'll make it a series. We may win a game or two. But unless we got a Derrick Rose out there in some way, shape, or form, it's just not going to happen. So, you got Miami coming out. And Miami, it's just, you know, they're going to do what they can to defend. You know, it's a tough Western Conference. So, it's going to be interesting to see. But Chicago is my dark horse, and there's no, no, no roots to that. I may be a you know a Bulls fan. You know we got MJ. You know we got this here, but uh, I judge it all cerebrally and honestly. So I want to give you the best perspective, scouting perspective, matchups all along the board. So let's go and have a great, great playoff season. And thanks for joining me, Jay Smalls. We got Twitter, we got YouTube, Cerebral Sports Chicago, Google us up. Jay Smalls, let's get them, Bulls, all right? You're going down. You are going down, Eastern Conference. You are going down. And D Rose, just, just line up in the uniform. You'll be straight. It's just going to mess him up in the head. It's going to mess him up in the head. In the head. Peace, everybody.